you know, me personally, uh, you know, I've been in, in Charlotte since I was 11 years old, and, um, you know, it, it's a part of me, you know what I'm saying? Like, even if you took me up and put me somewhere else, you know, you can take the boy out of Charlotte, but you can't take Sean out of the boy. There's so many, you know, great friends, you know what I'm saying? My family's here, you know. Um, this is where I met my wife, where I had my first child, you know what I mean? Um, and it's just like, as a human being, I'm just like, I love Charlotte. Saying and um, you know, then on on the fighter front, you know, there's just been so many amazing uh, fighters out of Charlotte who came before me who you know never really got a fair shake. You know, um, you know my big bro Keith Richardson. You know, what I'm saying he's still tearing up the game. You know, he never really uh, just because you know you fighting out of the Carolinas, people don't respect the Carolinas a lot. You know, he never really got a fair shake, and so. You know, as a fighter, you know, I've been built up on, like, the hopes and the dreams of the fighters that came before me. I stand on their shoulders, you know what I'm saying? So, to be here, the number one organi MMA organization in the world, you know what I'm saying, uh, in my hometown, you know what I'm saying, in front of you know, all my friends and family, everyone who helped make me who I am, uh, to go out there and just, uh, you know, I've been saying all week, this fight is going to be like a love letter to, you know, everyone out there, man. And, you know, I can't think of any better way to say it. You know, thank you for everything other than, you know, smoking this <laughs> that was put in front of me. So, um, it was very special, very special. How does it feel just also to get back into the win column? <sighs> yeah, this is my. <laughs> I don't even, I, it feels good, um, you know. Uh, you know, that last fight with Vermont was like really important for me as a professional, you know what I'm saying? There's so many things I learned uh, for, you know, just the build up to the fight, uh, as well as, you know, what to do in the fight, you know, it, it was just tremendous. So, you know, getting back into the win column is, is cool, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, you know, it's important for my career, you know what I'm saying? But um, really, it's more about the performance, you know what I'm saying? If I come out and I perform to the best of my ability, that's really what it's all about. Like if I perform to the best of my ability, if I'm like the best version of Brian Battle, then you know I have, you know, find someone who can beat me. You know what I'm saying? If they can beat me now, they won't be able to beat me when I get to them. You know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna keep on getting better and keep on improving, and um, you know, the, the wins are just gonna keep on rolling in. So it's not really. I'm more concerned about my performance and less about you know the outcome because if I perform to the highest level, you know, the win will just be something that's you know almost guaranteed. Did you expect to have him come out swinging like that? No, man. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. You know, I thought there was going to be uh, a lot more filling out. And I was going to dance around for a little bit. Uh, you know, that's the biggest cage I've ever fought in. So I was going to dance around for a little bit, uh, get a feel for the range and, you know, the power and everything. But he came out super, super duper hot. And I was just like, okay, you know what I'm saying? I'm playing my field. Like, Yo, you want to play, play and throw? All right, I'm bigger, I'm stronger, I'm faster, you know what I'm saying? My boxing's been on point. Um, so, um, yeah, no, I did not expect him to come out like that, but, you know, me and my team, we prepare for everything, you know what I'm saying? Like, we have a drill literally called range weapon drill for if someone does something like that, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, I didn't expect it, but we're prepared for it all, you know what I mean? And I gotta ask you about the weight cut, what happened? Um, a lot of things, uh, once again, I, uh, being, being home, because normally I'm totally isolated, you know what I'm saying, so, um, when I, uh, do my cut, you know what I'm saying, it's just, just the cut, you know what I'm saying, I'm, you know, by myself with my team, uh, this time, you know, it's like, I'm going, uh, like, I, I started to cut at the hotel, then I went to my home gym and did some of the cut there, and, you know, I wanted to, you know, kind of, you know, be an example for the guys <laughs> in that fight. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I want to be an example for the guys, you know, you're going back and forth. Uh, and it was really, once again, that's like a big lesson I learned this time. You know, when you start the cut, just, you know, sit still, focus on the cut, you know what I'm saying? Um, I, it, I won't lie, there was uh, my last weight cut, I was sick during that cut, so that cut was so hard, I just kind of felt like I was like, yo, I'm making it. It don't matter, or I can make the cut. I ran out of the water, I couldn't make the cut, you know what I'm saying? So, um, just a, a little bit more due diligence, you know, it won't be a problem ever again, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's the first time it's happened in my professional career, it won't ever happen ever again. So, uh, it's kind of a bummer, but, you know, there's a, there's a little bit of an asterisk, 
But, uh, you know, uh, like I said, you know, we, we're still learning, we're still growing. Uh, and so, you know, it won't happen again. And, uh, you know, hopefully this will be a distant memory in the future. So there's no plans on moving to a different division? Now we're putting people to sleep in 16 seconds, you know what I'm saying? 14. <laughs> 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. <laughs> uh, after the fight, you called out, I believe, the big blood doofus. Yeah. Yeah. How you yeah. did it. Um, I wanted to say something else, but they told us no cussing before uh, before the show, and they kind of messed me up. You know? Well, the story is yours if you'd like to. I wanted to call him a big blonde bitch, but, you know, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Same message, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and I, you know, I feel kind of bad because he's fighting D-Rod tonight. D-Rod's like a really cool guy, and uh, it's like I want D-Rod to win that fight. So, um, uh, but um, if that doesn't happen, you know what I'm saying? I would be, I would love to be the first person to beat him, Gary. You know what I'm saying? And also knock him out. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what would happen to me. I'm fun. I would knock him out. So, um, yeah, you know what I'm saying. But with that being said, I'm really not that picky. I'll fight anybody. I'm saying I'll fight, you know, he paid me to fight someone, I'll show up, you know what I mean? So Is he in just because of the, the hype and the rise he's going on and that's why you want to fight him or is anything else there? Well, uh at first, yeah, but now there's been a little bit of there's been some interactions, you know what I'm saying? Like we've I don't know, he wasn't even staying at the fighter hotel this week and I didn't run into anybody more than I ran into Ian Gary. Like we just kept on running into each other, you know what I'm saying? So um uh yeah, no, so now, you know, it's, it's, it's a little personal, you know what I'm saying? Uh, generally, when I have interactions with fighters, that kills all my animosity towards them, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot easier to have animosity towards someone you've never met, you know? It's more like you have animosity towards the idea of them rather than the actual person. Uh, this is not the case. I have animosity towards the actual person. So, um, yeah, but once again, I'm not that picky, you know what I'm saying? I'll fight it. Not to dwell on it, but why exactly was he just being annoying? Was he rude to you? Was it what was said that made you have some animosity? Um, I think um, just like uh, the way that we view things is just different. The way that we approach things is just a little bit different, and it kind of clashes. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like um, fire and ice a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So. You know, there's nothing egregious, you know what I'm saying? Nothing nothing too bad. It just, it just rubbed me the wrong way a little bit. I don't, you know what I'm saying? It just gets on my nerves, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, and then it doesn't hurt that, you know, he is also like, you know, a guy who I hype, you know, a lot of people know who he is, you know what I'm saying? All that stuff helps, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, and he tried to make me look stupid on Instagram. I don't like that, you know what I'm saying? He tried to make me look a little silly. Okay, I saw that, you know, <laughs> it's cool, you know? We'll see what happens if we ever get to rock the cage together. Uh, six fastest stoppage in UFC history, 14 seconds. One, did you realize it was that quick? And two, what does that mean to you? Um, I knew it was fast. I didn't know how fast, because, you know, we can't count, you know? And, uh, but, uh, and, now it's, it's cool, it's bittersweet more than anything because you know we, we worked on so many things and it was like we had like a whole playbook of stuff that we were supposed to get into and so you know um, one of the best parts about having a longer fight is you can go on the tape and see where you did things wrong where you did things good how to build on that how to build on this so um 16 seconds is not a lot to go off of so that's kind of the bittersweet thing it's like i wanted to you know, especially I was prepared to go all 15 because Gabe's such a tough guy. And I was like, man, it's going to be, you know, I'm going to win this fight. And I have some great film to study afterwards and, you know, figure out where I can get better, you know, where I let things slip. And that's not what happened. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, you know, with that being said, I don't think, uh, I think after that fight, I don't think anyone's going to come rushing at me with their hands down ever again. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, it was the right hand this time. The left hand next time, you know what I'm saying? It could be a right kick, it could be a left kick, you know what I'm saying? It's clear at this point that I can put people to sleep, so. So where does the Brian Battle victory tour go tonight since it is your hometown? <sighs> Listen, man, I'm gonna go out. Uh, we're, it's still middle of the afternoon. What time? Like, it's like <laughs> two o'clock. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go back to the, the hotel, you know, take a shower, you know, uh, get dressed, go find. 
I gotta find all my older people first. You know, we gotta all go out with my older people, and then when the sun goes down, <laughs> when the sun goes down, then we're gonna. Uh, I, I'm going to this spot called Encore tonight. Encore. Um, so yeah, y'all, y'all all invited. You know, I'm saying, tell them Brian Battle sent you. You know, what I'm saying. Um, but you know, it, I. <laughs> Man, I'm telling you, I'm not paying for anything tonight. Uh, I barely expect to remember the rest of the day. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be like this. I'll probably wake up like half a week from now. I'll be like, what happened? <laughs> How did I get here? You know what I mean? So, um, no, it, it, it's gonna be it's gonna be uh, sensational. Last question, man. Coming up to dreams and nightmares, come on, and the response from the crowd. Just talk about that moment. I used to pray for times like this to rhyme like this, so I had to. Grind like that to shine like this. Come on, man. Um, that's just that's a song I've been walking out to, but that's been like a, a theme song in our gym for a little while. You know, between me and the boys, and um, uh, yeah, you know, it just the lyrics of that song. You know, what I'm saying it really was, you know, a, a dream just like unfolding right before. You know, what I'm saying, um, and it's like I had to go through a lot of nightmares to get here. You know what I mean? So. Um, Classic. Yeah, 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 it means a lot to me. Um, yeah, it was really cool. It was awesome. All good? Perfect. Thank you.